Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Weepy Stranger, and I'm bringing you today something that's pretty. It's pretty cool to do, but it's not really the hardest. It is a little more than 500 kills in Zombies Transit mode, but I got zero headshots. I made that a challenge to myself that I would not get any headshots that game. And it's not the hardest thing to do, but it is pretty time-consuming, and you have to be patient and know how not to get trapped by the zombies. Uh, I was playing with two friends here, and basically we just decided to go at it. I mean, well, I was the only one that went at it, but they did their normal stuff. Uh, I found out pretty early on that insta-kills were amazing, especially before I had the Galva Knuckles, because, as you see, it's round 7. Still, get the, still I'm able to get the one-hit kills. So. Finally, on round 8, I got the Galva Knuckles, which make it a one-hit kill knife up until round 13. And then those were probably my most used thing in this game. Uh, I, uh, we went through it, we got the pack and punch room open, I upgraded my pistols to the Mustang and Sally's because they are pretty damn powerful. And I also upgraded the B23R, which made it full auto, which I thought was a little weird. Because I would have thought it would have gone dual wheel. And as you can see, uh, with Juggernaut on, round 12, I'm able to just basically walk through zombies, barely take any hits, and just not waste any effort basically. It's one of the simplest things to do in the, in the game. And then there's also the uh, electric zombie. Got him on round 15. He's, he doesn't get any stronger as the levels go, as it only took about 10 hits when he was on round 15 to kill him, and I was like, alright, works for me. And it was just back to the normal punch and grind. Um, what I did to, when I was shooting, like when it got to the higher levels when there was more zombies than I could kill fast, I started shooting them in their lower abdomen region. And as you can see, you can stand up and do it. I had started to uh, crouch down so that I would just have to aim straight ahead. And it's I was just lining them up, shooting through the middle version as the bow would get too hot. And whenever this happens and you get a max ammo like I did right there, but I did, I just spent the next clip, I was like, alright, I'm just gonna somewhat spin this clip so that I don't have to worry about it. And I used a lot of grenades when in open areas with big groups behind me. And also the Mustangs and Sally's because they do pack a pretty good punch. Except for the fact that they leave crawlers sometimes, which just like that, you can miss it, miss a crawler because of the knife. And outside areas are the best, but it's pretty bad when the bus is moving around. As you see, I almost got trapped here, and that would have ended my streak. That would have killed my other guy. Me and my friend were just like, oh shit, oh shit. Run. I pulled out my Mustang Salads and we had fun. And then right here, my friend got down, and, he was, and then he uh, had to leave for work. So he was just like, all right, I'm going to leave. You guys end it whenever. So I just said, I'm going to get the most kills. I'm going to look straight down. We can commit suicide. So look at the scoreboard. So I had the most kills. Look down. Went at it. My final score was 509 kills, two downs, two revives, and no headshots. Uh, thank you for watching. There will be more on the way. Like and subscribe if you like the video, because there will be more. Thank you.